What's going on guys? Matty Daddy of Money here. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day. So I am going to upgrade this KS0. I'm gonna upgrade the uh, the overclocks and add a fan and kind of get it ready to go for uh, all the new overclocks that came out. Um, I recently did this one for some idiotic reason. I don't know why, but when the overclocks came out, I ordered a power supply. And for some reason, I only ordered one power supply. I already had the USB fan because when these originally came out on Ice River's website, it said that you had to absolutely have some type of fan blowing on this thing, which we found out later on. You, you kind of really didn't. Um, as long as you had it in a well-ventilated place and the fans were doing their job. So I ordered uh, a fan, some screws for the fan, and another power supply. So, you know what? Let's... Uh, Let's pull this thing out of here and let's get it set up. Okay, so here's the fun stuff we got. We have extra long screws, which are necessary to screw this, uh, this Noctua fan down into the KS0. And I also got a 180 watt power supply. Um, this is a different power supply than I have mentioned in my previous videos. This one is a little bit cheaper. I believe the original one that I had was like $54, $53, something like this one. And I think this one was like $37. Um, for those of you who bought the 120-watt power supply instead of the 90-watt, uh, this is the 80, I'm sorry, 180-watt version of the 120 power supply. So same, same power supply, just a uh, higher wattage. So let's get this stuff set up and ready to go. Okay, let's get this stuff out, taken apart. Look at that. Okay, so these screws are not going to work, which is why we bought these. Um, I will have a link to these down in the description. We only need four. That's three. I can count sometimes, I promise. And the next thing I'm going to grab for protection are some of these... Uh, these um, ASIC fan covers. So I did a, uh, a fruition design upgrade on my L7 and uh, got rid of the uh, those loud ass ASIC fans and I have these grills here so this will work perfectly on this fan on this fan so nobody you know accidentally catches their fingers or what have you. Okay so this is super super straightforward for anybody that's never done this before. So there are four screw holes, one there, 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 and there. So we're just going to take our KS0, our fan. Okay, so then just wrap this guy around and plug her in. Make sure it goes upside down. There we go. Of course, there's a better way to do something with this with this USB cable, but. Sure, somebody out there has better cable management than me. So the next thing is our power supply. Okay. 
So it's good for uh, 100 and 240. It's 9.5 volts or 9.23 amps. And I'm looking to see where it says 180. I'm blind. Yeah, I don't see where it says 180. I mean, maybe it says it here. I don't know, I don't know how to read Chinese. So I mean, it says 180 watt right there on the box. So hopefully it is what it says it is. Okay, I did some comparing to my other uh, power supply. So this is the 120 watt power supply. You can see right there, it says uh, 19 volts and then 6.32 amps. And then on my 180, 19.5 and then 9.23. And then I also did compare this one to the other 180 watt power supply that I have in 19.5 and 9.23 match on the other one too. So. Uh, yeah, this is definitely 180, so we're good there. Okay, finally, both my KS0s are matching. That was bugging me for a little bit. So, we're all ready to go. Blowing air. So, this is the original 180-watt power supply that I got. And this is the one that I got, let me see that, today. Um, this one is uh, definitely cheaper than this one. I believe this one was like 55 bucks, and I think this was like 37 or something like that. So, um, if you are in need of a power supply, I will leave a link in the description below for the power supply, the fan, and the screws. And, uh, yeah, let's get this thing overclocked. I'll see you back at the computer. All right, back at the computer. Let's get this thing upgraded. So, we're going to go to Firmware Upgrade. I've already downloaded and selected my files. Um... If you need a how-to video on how to actually do this, I have done a, a separate video on this start to finish on how to overclock your device. I will leave a link to that in the description below. Okay, so there are a whole bunch of different overclocks. So I'm actually doing a video comparing all of these uh, overclocks. So you'll see which one has uh, the best hash rate versus power usage. So that will be released uh, tomorrow morning. Be on the lookout for that one. I'm gonna use this one right here. A update, operation successful, okay, confirm restarting the machine, okay, and operation succeeded, okay, I'll see you back here in just a second when it's back up and running. One thing I forgot to do, and clearly I need to go back and watch my own how-to videos, but one thing that I forgot to do was upgrade the firmware on my Ice River to the latest and greatest from the Ice River website. If you don't do that first and you try to apply these overclocks, the KS0 will crash. So I had to factory reset it by pressing and holding the button on the front of the uh, KS0 for 20 seconds until it rebooted. And now here I am back again at the uh, the interface. As you can see, it's got all their, their settings in here, so we want to wipe that out quickly and get this thing upgraded. So just to take note, we are on the June 27th firmware, so let's get that upgraded or updated I believe I already have that saved yes I do right there boom update hey operation succeeded let's reboot for grins and giggles rebooting and I'll see you back in a couple minutes okay we are back up so let's let's nuke these pools real quick okay I'm gonna point this to my node which that IP address changed which is dot 52 now. I'm gonna copy the wallet for my other miner who is currently doing the same thing. Save. Good. Go back to home, make sure everything looks as it should. Oops, I missed a, uh... hello. That ain't gonna work. Dot one, dot 52. There we go. Okay, that looks good, grand, awesome. So now, let's upgrade our firmware. Overclocks, this one. Update. Operation succeeded. Huh. Normally it asks for a reboot afterwards, but okay. We will reboot manually. And then I'll see you back here in a minute. Okay, updating to Ice River's latest and greatest firmware did the trick. Then after that, I applied the overclock firmware update. 
And now we are getting upwards of 160 giga hash. Uh, it's the number two right here. So, yeah, awesome stuff. Finally, my, uh, my other one is up to date. So, uh, again, links in the description for uh, power supplies and such. Uh, fan, all that good stuff. And, uh, yeah, that'll be about it. Everybody have a good rest of the day. And we'll catch you next time.